Hey guys, and welcome back to Coding Gameology. Today, we're making a game called Fishing. When you play fishing, first you'll see this. Click space to cast your fishing rod. After some time, you will catch something, and this will be its info box. You can catch fish for as long as you want. Okay. Now it's time to go start making this game. Okay, so let's start coding this game. Let's start by coding the Fisher Cat. What's a Fisher Cat, you might ask? Well, it's the equivalent of a fisherman, but a cat. Okay, so let's start the game. Before we start coding, I would like to remind you that you might as well want to make all of these costumes first. I made a neutral, a pull pull back, pull out fishing rod, a rod throw, which is super high, rod throw one, rod throw two, rod throw three. What do, does all of these do? It makes it look like as if the cat is actually doing something, adding animation to your code. When start, forever, we're gonna play sound Zylo 3, which you can put any sound. This is just what I put, because it sounds pretty well with the waves. When start, we're also gonna switch the costume to neutral. You wouldn't wanna sling your ring out in the middle of nowhere for no reason at the beginning of the game, so do this, neutral. Broadcast cast fish, and forever, if your money is less than zero, then turn your money to zero. Money is currently a variable, in which you can see how much money you earn. When I receive catch fish, which is broadcast here, it'll wait until the space key is technically pressed, which means you can throw your rod out. The switch costume to pull back, pull out, starts on the low whoosh, which sounds as if it's swinging out his fishing rod. And then it'll wait 0 0.1 seconds, switch costume to rod throw, Wait, 0 0.1 seconds, rod throw 1, 0 0.1, rod throw 2, 0 0.1, and rod throw 3. It waits 2 seconds, so you can actually admire your beautiful fish that you just caught. Then you broadcast caught something, and do... Now, where do you think you would receive caught something? Well, definitely the fish. The fishing sprite is a sprite with a ton of fish. Now, before we start coding this, type, this code... We might want to create the list normal seeds. This sets the money to zero, deletes all of normal seeds hide, and adds the exact name of the fish you made. Just the fish, whale bomb, trash, king whale, catfish, rainbow catfish, crab. You have to make sure all of these match the costume name. This is very important. If you don't do this correctly, you will probably end up with an arrow in your game. Make the fish and make the fish that you're supposed to catch. Name the costumes. Make a list and add their exact names to this list. When I receive catch something, it's going to show switch costume to item pick random 0 to 8 of normal C's. That's just because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of my things right here. I made it eight just so it might flow better. If the costume name exactly is trash, exactly is trash, then it's going to change the money by negative 50. Oh yeah, you lost $50 just because you got a trash can. That's pretty sad. Set the current fish to the costume name. Wait 0.5 seconds, broadcast pull back. But what does pull back do? Pull back makes you switch costume to what did I catch and broadcast the fish message, which is here, which forces the sprite to hide and go to this position again. Else, if the costume name equals king whale, then you change the money by 100. You just earn $100 by getting a whale. Else, if you, it's not king whale or not trash, then you just change the money by 25, set the current fish to costume name, pull back, and the same stuff. Okay, now to move on, let's do our next sprite, the info block. The info block is a block where it tells you all of the information, which I'm pretty sure when you catch a fish, 
this is what pops up. Now, you have to make sure that the costumes you make match the exact names of the fish over here. It's all the same exact names and with the same exact costume number. Now let's start coding. When start hide, go to the front layer. This sprite is not really about the code, but it's about the information that is written here. When it receives the fish message, which the fisher cat broadcasts, it has to go to the front layer and switch the costume to the current fish, the fish that is set here. Now that's why the costumes have to equally match. It has to show. It has to wait until the mouse is down, which is why it clicks anywhere until next, and broadcasts catch fish. Catch fish just continues this. Oh wow, we're basically already done with the basic catch system. But you'll find out that your fisher cat is standing in the middle of nowhere. So, to solve that problem, let's make the ground. The ground, this thing right here, is another totally different sprite, but it goes to the front layer. That's all it does. It's not part of the backdrop for one reason, and you would see that reason soon. Okay, now let's code the random fish. The random fish is the fish that jumps out of the water. Wait for it. See, it jumps out of the water at random and dies back soon. When start, it's supposed to hide. And forever, it's going to wait, pick random, one to five seconds. Now, are you still wondering why we made this guy go to the front layer? That's all because of the random fish. Okay, so now it has to wait, random, one to five seconds, show. It's going to start to sound splash, as if it's running out of the water. And it's going to point in the direction 90, go to the random position, set the Y to negative 135, so it wouldn't go in random and jump in the sky. That would be kind of weird. Point in direction 45 degrees, repeat 20, move 10 steps, wait 0 0.05 seconds, repeat 5, turn 15 degrees, move 10 steps, repeat 20, move 10 steps, 0 0.05 seconds. What this does is that the, it's moving mechanism. Jumping, turning, falling. It's going to start the sound splash once it dies in again. When start, it's supposed to hide. And forever, if it's touching the edge, it's got to hide. Or else, it's just going to kind of look like it's sliding on the edge and falling down, which would look weird. We have to make it look as if the fish is passing through the edge. So the world is not only this page, but it goes beyond the edge. All you do for this next sprite is to just... Keep on flipping them around. It makes it look like if it's a flock of birds. Now let's start forever late. It's gonna show, start down seagulls. And then it's gonna go to this position, glide five to ten seconds. Is. So it's completely random every time it tries to fly. It's gonna hide and wait five to ten seconds is to, uh, to cool down. Or else you will just see a bunch of birds going. That would be kind of weird, right? When start forever, it's going to go to the next costume and wait 0 0.5 seconds. Now for our final sprite, it's basically just a very simple four blocks of code. And I'm pretty sure you recognize these, right? And it just makes it look like a cool background when you're not playing the game. Or else, it's just supposed to co cover up all this stuff. Now the backdrops. It's just a simple ocean backdrop. Oh well, wow, we're already done? Okay, bye, and thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe!